Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be planning in my A5 wide print press and spiral bound planner. I will be using the One More Chapter sticker kit from DEK along with washi from Simply Gilded. The washi I'm using this week actually has books on the 15 millimeter and it's really cute and it goes with the kit really well. As always, I'm going to start my spread by putting down washi. In case you're wondering, the tool I'm using right now, it is a slice tool, and I will go ahead and link this down in the description of the video. This is one of my favorite planner tools.
now that washi's down, I'm going to go ahead and start with stickers. This week I'm going to change it up a little bit. Instead of matching on both sides, I'm actually going to use both strips of the long washi and have different um, cover of the white space there with the washi stickers. One of the first things I always put down after washi is my base of the week headers. It just kind of sets me up to be able to look at the spread as it comes together and know what I need to be putting on certain days. So I just realized that I didn't completely clean the audio from the video and you can actually hear that while I plan, I watch Grey's Anatomy. Next up, I'm going to use the date dots that come with the kit just to mark out the days of the week. Again, it just helps me keep track and be able to put things where they need to go throughout the week. I made a bit of a boo-boo here and went from the 25th to the 24th instead of to the 26th, so I'm going to fix that real quick.
Next, I go through the spread with my full boxes, my decorative ones, and I'll come back through and put headers over those as well, just to take up the full box. But this is where I start getting creative with it. I'm very in love with the two box set that I've used down at the bottom left hand side. It's just so cute. They have really been doing amazing things with those scene pieces for those boxes. I'm also, again, I mentioned I'm coming through with the headers and this time I decided to change it up and ones that are going on the bottom are blue and ones that are going on the top are that pretty maroon. Can I just say that every kit they include a sticker that is perfect for that top portion of the sidebar there? It's a great thing to be able to jot down like the most important part of the week or a note or an important task or something that makes you happy or the day of like the days and months of the spread. It's just really functional and still very pretty. After getting all of my decorative boxes, next I come through with my to-dos and my todays. My to-dos I use as a list. My todays are a place for me to jot down notes or non-restrictive tasks or like the best part of the day. It really just depends on what's going on that day. I'm putting down my full box checklist and on Wednesday I'm actually going to use two half boxes instead of using them on Sunday because I've got a lot of stuff to do on Sunday this week and not a lot to do on Wednesday. On the sidebar here, I use the Monday through Sunday sticker to track my meals for the week. And then I also put my habit trackers, which is my water consumption and going to bed on time, also go in that sidebar. putting down my weekend banner. Again, beautiful script. I'm really loving this kit. It's just very cute. And here's where I come through and I drop down my to-dos on top of my to-do checklist.
I'm using a flag quarter box on Tuesday and one again on Sunday just for important things that I have going on on those days. On Sunday it actually replaces one of my checklists. And now I'm just coming through with some deco. And I love the deco that they include with the kits. It really just pulls everything together and makes them really fun. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, as well as Tumblr, at Weird Girl Plans. Thank you. See you next week.